I have a question for all of you. And that question stems out of two things which you are about to invest in your career. The first is your parents' hard-earned money. Second is your own personal time over a period of three years, four years, whatever degree you are choosing. You're going to invest money and you're going to invest your own personal time. And a lot of effort will go in in doing all the work which this university or college is about to assign you. But what are the five things which colleges and universities are not telling you in our country? Sadly, it's the truth. And why I am cautioning you is because you should not do those, those mistakes which your superiors have done because later on they all come to me only for placements. So I analyze a lot of CVs. I talk to a lot of biotech professionals and I place a lot of them into various biotech companies. So I don't want you to do the mistakes which they did. Okay. So the first thing which colleges are not telling you is their labs may not be equipped with the curriculum which the UGC is prescribing or their universities prescribing for the biotech course. So it is very important for you to remember that the college, even if they commit during the admission, that they are going to provide you all that, they will not do it. So if that is happening or if that has happened uh, or you are about to join a college, keep this in mind, go to the lab. Go to the lab and check what facilities they have. And if you are already pursuing a degree and if your college is not able to provide those hands-on things, stop cursing them. I know we, we all have that habit. We start blaming, but blaming is not going to solve. You can always take hands-on training at various labs, including Biotechnica and you can train yourself. So that's the first thing which colleges are not telling you. The second thing which the colleges are not telling you is the faculty. So the faculty who is going to teach and the faculty who is there on the prospectus may be different. And this happens in 70% of the colleges. Okay. So if they have mentioned these are the faculties who are going to teach, you at least ask randomly two faculties whom you want to meet and maybe they are the top faculties. You say that I want to meet and see who are they and are they really there? Because many a times they will showcase some other faculty, but the person who's going to teach is some other faculty. When you will ask the question, they will say, first year this faculty will teach, second year the senior faculty will teach. But the truth is that faculty never comes to the college. They were just there during the admission process. So I know a lot of good colleges which don't do it. Okay. I, I cannot make, uh, take uh, names of, uh, you know, all of them. But yeah, some of the good colleges, if you ask me, SRM University you have, then you have Amity University. They are not doing this. They are very good. Then you have Nirma Institute of Biotechnology. They have very good faculty. Then you have MIRM Bangalore, IBAB Bangalore. So these are the good universities and colleges where you can go through. But yeah, of course, you cannot get it all the time because there will be seats and there will be limited seats. But whichever college you are taking in, please comment below which college you want to take admission so that I can personally check and let you know if that college is good or not. And of course, I cannot comment publicly. So probably you will have to email me at shekhar at biotechnica.org and I will definitely reply. Just that I get a lot of emails. So sometimes my replies will be delayed. Now coming to the third point. So the first point which I told you is lab problem. And the second I told you the, is the professor problem. The third is the placement cell. So placing candidates in biotech companies is a challenge and we will have to accept it. And that means... These colleges mask it or hide this fact. They'll just showcase the placement into IT companies. You ask which biotech company is hired from your college, right? And if they are not able to, uh, you know, uh, place, then let them at least say that, yes, we failed to place. Okay, let them commit that, okay, I could not do this, right? Then you will have a ground to negotiate on the fees because when it comes to fees, they are very particular. No, no, I want 7 lakhs, I want 10 lakhs, right? But if you're paying 10 lakhs plus your four years of life, then you deserve a placement. And if can, they cannot give that placement, then at least they should reduce the fees by a few lakhs, right? Now, one more argument which they give during this placement thing is they will show you the placement cell. You always go and meet the placement officer, ask the list of students who got placed, go verify on LinkedIn if they are really working there, right? So this way it becomes a responsible behavior. Otherwise, they will just keep promising that Bon Vita is a health drink. Same way biotech companies are coming to our university and uh, placing, but that's not the truth. Okay. So that's the third problem. The fourth problem which biotech universities and colleges are faking about is 
the adherence to the curriculum which they have. Most of the time they don't have the teacher. So always look at the curriculum and see which teacher will be covering that. And don't just look at the first year. You look at the, all the years. Okay. Many a times when you ask, I want to speak to a student, they will just bring in some student who has been pre-programmed to tell, okay, all the good things. You please go to the hostel, talk to the students who are staying in the hostel, you know, uh, get a clarity on what's going on. The inside story is very, very important. Okay. Now coming to the fifth point is like I said, hostel. Okay. Ma majority of the parents and the children will go to the hostel. They look at the food, they look at the facilities and it will all look very rosy, right? But when you should, should actually go into the hostel is very, very important. You please go in when they are uh, either taking lunch, which where the, when the students are in the casual behavior, you can find out what really goes on or maybe um, in the evening time. Ask for the facilities to the students, not to the admission officer and see what is being provided. Ask them what is not being provided, okay? And make them comfortable. First, make them a friend. Say that I'll not disclose that you told me this, but tell me what's going on so that you have the inside story of the college. Now, once you have all the inside story, remember there is always an option where you may not opt for the hostel. This has happened to me. This happens to many candidates where the university or college to earn extra money, they'll force you to stay in the hostel. But that's not needed. You can always stay outside. Okay. It, the life, life won't be that hard. But then you will be able to focus on studies instead of, you know, all the uh, ruckus which happens in the hostel. So somewhere maybe you can avoid the hostel altogether. Now, the sixth and bonus point which I want to tell you here is the library. You can see the library in my back. I'm standing in Biotechnica's library. So the library is very important because you cannot buy costly books. Your parents cannot, but the library becomes a savior. So ask which all books are there in the library. Okay. Ask what kind of access I can get for journals, research journals, how many days I can carry the book to my home and study and come bring back what are the rules of the library, acquaint yourself so that later on, it doesn't come as a surprise, right? And always ask your admission officer, second bonus point, what are the hidden fees after I have taken admission? Is there any hidden fees? Will you ask me to pay anything extra after this I have paid? So that your parents are not robbed of their bank. Don't allow any college or university to rob off your parents from their hard-earned savings because on one hand, we want the best college for you. On the other hand, we want your parents to have that money for you, not to be paid for some fake degree where they are not able to provide you placements or the facilities which they promised. So let me know in the comment section, what are your views, thoughts, or what points I missed which you have faced or you are facing. Please put them down in the comment section. Now, this particular video is not about college bashing. It's all about bringing up the best college and presenting it in front of you. In this meanwhile, let the bad colleges realize that their life is over. They will have to become responsible to their students because students are putting in their effort and hard-earned money into this college and the college system must change for good. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.